kind of new age theory. Um, so bear with me. <laughs> this is, I'm also starting, I'm going by grade, bo- grade level. I can't talk today. I'm going, by, going by grade level and we're starting with kindergarten. So these are going to be the books that I remember from when I was a small child. And um, in no particular order, a lot of these came from the library, but some of them came from my mom's house. Um, So yeah, we're going to get into it. So the first one is Amelia Bedelia um, by Peggy Parrish and Fritz Siebel. Um, I will also, like, I'm hoping to read these and then post, like, the review or the update of them or I might just like tack it on to the end of the video if I don't ramble too much um but this is a series I guess about um a housekeeper who has like no common sense she takes everything very very literally and um so she doesn't do a very good job as a housekeeper because she doesn't really understand the instructions but this is um, a series of books I distinctly remember from my childhood. I don't think this is one specifically that we read, but I, I remember the series, so I picked it up. Um, the next one is actually one of the ones that I learned to read in, and that is The Horse's Hat, which is about a horse's hat, but it has just a few words on each page. Um, some of them are replaced by small pictures so that you can understand better when you're learning. Um, but I have lots and lots of memories of reading this and flipping through it when I was really little, learning to read, and um, learning how fun books can be. So I picked it, so, for this reread. The next book is Addie Learns a Lesson. This is, um, a school story, book two. It's part of the American Girl Collection. I actually don't know who wrote this. Who wrote this? Connie Porter, and the illustrations are by Melody Rose Rosale Rosai. Um, but this is an American Girl book which follows Addie, who, if I recall, is um the first African American um American girl, and um, it's like. This obviously follows some of the, the issues that um, African Americans faced here in the U.S. and did um, when this book is set, which I, I actually don't know when this book is set. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks older than, it looks like turn of the century, like around 1890. 1900 or so um but we follow like all of the issues that she faces and somehow she's like able to go to school which i think is really cool because in much of the u.s if you're not aware um african americans weren't allowed in the same schools as white people until like the 50s or 60s i believe like 1950s or 60s um so really really late but somehow like it looks like she's on the east coast which was more lenient in in terms of those things which is awesome um but it should not have taken that long but this follows her journey um or at least at least part of her journey so really cool lots of memories of reading about that and like having that read to me um the next one is katie the Katie and the Big Snow, like, I don't remember the story, but I remember the cover distinctly, and clearly it got read a lot, because it's falling to pieces, um, but I, I do remember, like, flipping through this, I just don't remember the story, so we're gonna give it a go, um, yeah, (laughs) and the next book is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff, and illustrated by Felicia Bond. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's what happens if you give a mouse a cookie. Obviously the mouse is going to be like bouncing off the walls and everything. Um, so excited to read this because I have lots, lots and lots of memories like with all of these. Uh, flipping through them and looking at the pictures and like either having the story read to me 
or like reading bits of it to myself when I got good enough at reading. Um, so that had to be included. And the next one, I don't have memories of reading this myself, but I have memories of my mom reading this to me and um, some family members that were the same age. So this is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. It did not have a, a dust jacket, um, but this is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and it is by I don't remember. By Judy Barrett, and it's drawn by Ron Barrett. So this is, I think, it's about a scientist who is like experimenting with the weather, and somehow, either on purpose or by accident, he makes um, this guy start raining food, and one of the foods that it rains is spaghetti and meatballs. So. Yeah, but I have lots and lots of memories of having this read to me, so I'm excited about that. Um, but that concludes the, like, what I'm going to read. So now I just need to read them and then tell you all what I thought. So I guess wait for an update, or like I said, maybe I'll, I'll tack it on to the end of this video. But for now, that is all. So see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.